This is number, I don't even know. What are we at? Eight, nine, 10? I don't know. Welcome to flipping $400 into a Ferrari. This is our latest Ferrari flip project. If you've been following along, recently we bought a 2012 Chevy Camaro. Well, that Camaro has sold Thanks to that guy back there, that's German. He's the one that got rid of it. And in trade, we took on this Mazda Miata. Well, today we're gonna recap where we're at with our flipping $400 into a Ferrari series, as well as how we did on the Camaro. And we're gonna sell this this week after bringing it back to life. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. <laughs> So hey everyone, welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. That guy back there, the magician, that is German. When I first started this business, I started with an initial $400. And I bought one car, fixed it, cleaned it, sold it. Bought two cars, fixed them, cleaned them, sold them, and so on, so on, so on. Now we have all this going on. Well, I don't need a new business. So we started with another $400, and we want a Ferrari for the shop. I can play with it. He can play with it. Well, we took $400, we started buying our first car, fixed it, cleaned it, sold it. We're gonna keep doing the same thing until we can buy a Ferrari off that original $400 investment. Well, today we have this, what year is this, 2003? Mazda Miata. Our 2012 Chevy Camaro has been sold. And the Camaro leaves. Love that color. And we took this in trade, as well as a bunch of cash. So it's really in pretty good shape, minus the wheels, minus a little bit of dirt on the inside. And we're gonna wholesale it. We're gonna run through the auction and see how we do at auction. We paid $1,500 for this. We paid $1,500 for this 03 Mazda Miata with 100,000 miles, 102,000 I think, has a reconstructed, what? 77,000. This is 77,000 miles? This is 77,000 miles? Oh my goodness, this is, a, this is gonna be gold. 77,000 miles. Hey, check this out, Nardi steering wheel too. This thing is gonna be gold, and if you see right here, has a salvage inspection certificate. This thing has a reconstructed title for God knows why. I don't even know why, but we paid $1,500 for it. We're gonna clean it, and we're gonna sell it this week and keep rolling our money in, into this Ferrari series. Let's get moving on this car. Hey, so if you've been following my channel, then you know I'm a Corvette guy. Obviously, I love Corvettes, Corvettes and Jeeps. In fact, I've been waiting for months for my 2021 C8 Corvette to show up, and I'm still here just waiting around anxiously. Well, what if I could tell you that I have a way for you to win a highly coveted C8 Corvette Stingray and get it before mine even shows up? Well, so excited to partner with Omaze to give away the experience of a lifetime. I wish I could enter myself. By clicking the link down below or going to amaze.com forward slash flying wheels, you can enter the ultimate VIP experience at the 2022 Indy 500 for you and a friend. Ride in the 500 Festival Parade, attend the VIP pre-race party, tour the pits and garages, take a pre-race lap, watch the 500s from the VIP suite and win a 2021 Corvette. Then to wrap it all up, score a hot lap ride in an Indy car experience the day after the race. You can click on the link in our description or go to amaze.com forward slash flying wheels. Let's get on with the video. So I bought this Camaro. This is part of my Ferrari flip. Let's see how we do with it. It's uh, springtime, toy season is in full swing and I'll probably be able to sell this thing for, I hope a profit. I'm definitely going to put those Camaro SS wheels on it and the sellability will increase. Start that six cylinder up. Let's hear her fire up. Does she got the juice? Pop the clutch. Roll back. Ah, I almost stalled it. <laughs> Didn't you used to drive race cars? <laughs> I blame that on operator error. <laughs> Just give up. Can't even do a burnout. So here's the Camaro. I went with the Camaro just because it was a fun car. The truck, a little boring, doesn't make for great videos. All it took was a set of wheels. We did a full state inspection on it. The Camaro came out beautiful. We put the 20 inch wheels that I had stored upstairs for over a year from a previous Camaro that we had. And here's the finished product. Those wheels changed the look of the car completely. And the fact that it's a six speed still makes it a lot of fun to drive.
The only thing that we couldn't fix was these scuffs down here. We tried to buff them out and we couldn't get them out because they're actually past the clear coat. And this is a pearl orange paint, so I didn't want to even try to match it. So here's where we're at so far. We have this Infinity G35 still that we have to get out of. We have to get rid of this thing. We own it for like $1,800. We now have this Miata that we paid $1,500 for. And I forget what our balance is. I have to actually go through all the numbers and see where we're at because I have no idea where we're at now. It's getting like all confusing because we're not make like if we sell something for 12 and then we buy the Camaro. I had 12,000 at the auction and I bought the Camaro for whatever. It wasn't 12,000, but then we bought, put the wheels on it. So we still have a balance left over from purchasing the Camaro and the difference of the $12,000 and the G35 and the Miata. So we were asking 11.5 for the Camaro. We sold the Camaro for this plus $10,000. So we basically paid $1,500 for this Mazda Miata. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Oh, is that a timing belt sticker? No. What, ah, moldy french fries. I didn't think McDonald's french fries go moldy. So this is an aluminum wheel and all of this bubbling is oxidation. So oxidation happens underneath the paint where the aluminum corrodes and creates this bubbling. Now it happens with the Ford F-150s and the Expeditions from like 2000 to 2010, all the aluminum tailgates and hoods. It happens with the Mustangs too, the aluminum hoods and tailgates oxidized and bubbled and people think it's rust. Paper, go over it by hand to clean it up one more time, get all the score marks off. Next I'm going to use the DA sander, dual action sander with 120 grit on the wheels, and I'm going to sand down all those score marks. about a half an hour in. German's got the magic tool. This thing cleans everything. And then I'm working on the wheels. So let me show you the wheels. So first thing we did was scrape them down. So here is a scraped wheel. Then we're gonna use this angle grinder. And I'm gonna grind everything down. I don't wanna leave anything left, so any powder it's just gonna make the paint feel again. So I wanna bring this right down to the metal all the way around. So it looks like this one when I'm finished. This is a finished wheel. Then I'm gonna prime it and we can paint it. Are you doing the headlights too? Yeah. What are you using, just rubbing compound? No, I already wet sand. Oh, you wet sand it? So that one's been wet sand it too? Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks awesome. So we have it in the shop now. I'm gonna put it in the air so we can prime and paint the wheels. And then we have some rocker work to do. So I'm gonna take care of the rockers on both sides while it's up in the air. So the wheels are prepped and ready for paint. You can see we just tuck newspaper in behind so we don't get the calipers and rotors all spotted. I put it up in the air. That way we can get the whole area instead of having to paint it, move the car and get everything underneath. how they come out and he likes them in black do I go black or silver black works on a silver car jeez black or silver black or silver okay Herman tengo uno problema I don't know what to choose do we go silver or do we go black See, now black is so basic and hidden. Silver is wow. clean. I'm gonna go silver. Awesome. It's more work, but it looks good. German says he has a trick he wants to teach me. 
So I tape the wheel off. You're saying don't tape the wheel off. Care to explain? So if you, oh, if you spray and you get any overspray, get a wire brush, it's rubber. So just take the wire brush to the tire, the tire paint, paint off. Paint All right, off. we'll try it out. Now's the fun part, we get to take this thing for a ride. Love that it's a standard transmission. No lights on on the dash, 77,000 miles. This thing might be the score of the entire series. Came with a current New Hampshire inspection sticker. It is a completely different car from when it showed up. I love the off-white gauges. And this Nardi steering Honestly, wheel? Honestly, I would know nothing about this being a Nardi Torino steering wheel, but my brother's big in a Nissan 240s, and he swears, he is so proud of his Nardi steering wheel, he shows it to me every time I see him. All right, let's go for a rip. Drives like a 77,000 mile car. Even the oil change is up to date. We're 3,000 miles away from the oil change. This car reminds me of the MG that I flipped back in the fall, but a newer version of it. Everything's identical. It's very, very basic. It's not really fast, but it's still really, really fun to drive. It's like an updated version of that MGB that I have. So tomorrow I'm gonna to take this to a wholesale auction where I'm gonna to try to sell it to another dealer. These things are getting the same price at auction as they are retail. So I'm looking forward to seeing how well we're gonna do with this thing. So we'll see you in the morning. Here she is all finished up and looking primo. So we have a little bit of a scratch right here. I did the wheels, you can see how they came out. But the car looks amazing. German buff the headlights, German buff the car. We did the interior. I did the rockers with that stripe down there and I did the wheels. And the car came out amazing. This is gonna be a fun one. This was a fun one. This is the stuff that makes me like my job. I enjoy detailing cars. I enjoy bringing them back to life and I enjoy making them look better. So I have ADD, so long-term projects, I lose interest really quick, I get distracted really fast, but detailing cars, fixing them up, making them look better gives me instant gratification. I don't know, it's something about engines that, that calms me down. I can focus on them for a day and then the project's over. That's the stuff I like. Quick turnover, I get to keep moving. These are the things that make me like my job. Well, next day, the Miata sold last night, gone. $3,000, which means we made a total of $1,500 profit on the Mazda Miata, plus we sold the Camaro, and there's even better news. This right here is a check for the G35X. Yes, the G35X has sold, it's gone. We sold it last night after I finished the Miata and the video and everything. So we now have grand on the G35X. We owed like, we had it for like two, so we made $1,000 profit on that, $1,500 on the Miata, plus another $3,700 on the Camaro or something like that. I don't know, but we made a lot of money. So after doing all the math, after all the expenses, we now have $18,500 to go to the auction. So the next video this week, we'll be going to the auction with $18,500 to see what we can come up with. I also have a ton of videos coming up, like this 2017 Raptor and that Jeep Wrangler is going to be a crazy headache. I got a bill to do all the repairs on it, so I got a video on that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. The other thing, if you want to follow me on social media, on Instagram, I post all my videos and my stories early. So if you want to catch this stuff early, you can go to the links down below to check out all my Instagrams and TikToks and flying wheels and all that stuff. So make sure to follow us on all the other social media. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Adios.